We've all been there. You spend countless hours on that document and suddenly your PC freezes up. You're forced to restart but Windows isn't booting because the hard drive has failed. There is no backup aside from a USB thumb drive you've been copying everything to weekly. You've now lost the entire week of work. That's if you're one of the lucky ones. So then, what's the easiest and most secure way to ensure you have your data backed up? Everybody has access to a free cloud backup solution and probably isn't even aware of it. Enter OneDrive, the free cloud utility built right into Windows 10. All you need is a Microsoft account. Today we're going to cover how to create a Microsoft account and convert existing user accounts. We'll configure the free Microsoft OneDrive for sync and use the same Microsoft account on other devices to sync data. Why should you convert to a Microsoft account? 1. It's free. 2. It's secure. And 3. You get free cloud backup with OneDrive. What if I told you that no matter the complexity of your login password, any technician with even basic training and resources can gain access within seconds using free utilities available online? It's scary, right? But there is a way to secure your account, and that's to convert it to a Microsoft account. The first thing we need to do is open Add, Edit, or Remove Other Users in Settings. Then we choose Your Info on the left. Now we choose Sign In with a Microsoft account instead. Now we get the sign in prompt. Assuming you don't already have a Microsoft account, Hit no and create one. Here you can enter an existing email address. For this example, we'll create a new one. Now we create a new email address and password with a Microsoft account. Follow the prompts and enter your name and date of birth as required. The last step is to verify your current Windows password. Once this is complete, you will notice that your info section will change to reflect the new Microsoft account. We have successfully converted our local account to a Microsoft account. Now let's move on to OneDrive. The next thing we want to do is set up OneDrive so go ahead and open it. Here we log in using the same credentials we just created for our Microsoft account. Once you have logged in, you can change the location of your OneDrive. This is handy if you only have a small SSD for Windows and you keep a separate drive for data. After this, Microsoft will advertise their OneDrive 1TB one cloud storage deal for $6.99 a month. That's not a bad deal for cloud storage. But for now we'll use the free version. I recommend reading through the introductory slides to learn the features of OneDrive.
you will notice a OneDrive icon in the taskbar once it is set up. This is how you can tell if files are being synced with the cloud. Now we will set up sync, so go ahead and right click on this icon and choose settings. Choose the backup tab and select manage backup. Now you can choose what folders you wish to sync aside from the OneDrive folder itself. Please note the free edition of OneDrive only comes with a 5GB storage. After you've made your selection, click start backup. OneDrive will now start to back up your folders. You can watch the files being synced in real time by selecting View Sync Progress. Now this is where the magic happens. We have synced all of our files to OneDrive. But what if I want to access those files and that account from another device? Well, we simply log into that device with the same Microsoft account that we have just created. And all of our data is waiting there for us. If you're like me and you keep a laptop for traveling or do some work from home, this is an amazing feature. Watch here as I create a new test document on my desktop and watch it appear instantly on my Surface Pro. And that's it, we have secured our account and set up reliable cloud storage all for free. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate it. As always, if this video has helped you, hit the like button and subscribe for more how-to videos from Oka IT.